demo is going to focus on the new low-cost Ecola Smart PDU model SPDU-108L. This is the only PDU currently in the market with advanced socket level remote power management in desktop slash wall mount form factor. Now I'm going to show you some of the important features of this smart PDU by logging into a PDU that I personally use for managing power to my office equipment. I use this PDU for three reasons. First, to reboot my office server machine from home whenever it hangs. Second, to monitor how much power my equipment is using when it is on, as well as on standby. And third, to save power by shutting down some of the equipment when not in use. When you log in, what you see is the control and monitoring front page of the Smart PDU. As you can see, every parameter on this page is updated in real time. It shows the status of all eight sockets of the PDU, which can be individually controlled and monitored from this page. Each socket can be switched on or off just by pressing this on-off status indicator. This indicator changes to gray when I press once, then back to red if I press it again. Red indicates on and gray indicates off. This feature is useful when you want to reset locked up equipment from remote or switch off idling equipment which otherwise wastes power. These sockets can also be switched using the pull down menu on the right. This is useful when you want to switch multiple sockets at once. You select on off state for each socket like this. And then press update to switch all selected sockets together. The top pull-down menu shows eight power parameters which can be monitored. You can choose any parameter to be monitored in real time, but by default it shows the real instantaneous power. The real power consumption over the period is accumulated energy. The accumulated energy consumption of equipment can be monitored by selecting energy option from pull-down menu. Similarly, you can monitor the cost of consumption. Of course, to get the correct cost, you have to feed in the actual cost per kilowatt hour in the setup. RMS current, reactive power, apparent power, power factor, and phase angle. The left top corner of the table shows the temperature of the PDU, which is essentially the room temperature. The bottom right corner shows the line voltage and its frequency. For example, in the USA, the normal line voltage is 120 volts and frequency is 60 hertz. In Japan, the normal line voltage is 100 volts and frequency is 50 hertz in the east and 60 hertz in western Japan. Other features that I use most are the automation features. There are two scheduled timers where I can switch on, off, or even reset a particular socket at a particular time and date. In this case, I switch off monitor on socket 3, computer 1 on socket 4, and light 1 on socket 6, and light 2 on socket 7 at 10 p.m. and switch them back on using timer 2 at 8 o'clock in the morning. The master outlet control is another feature which is handy when you want to shut down some equipment based on current consumption of other equipment, whether it is up or in standby. In this case, I have a software shutdown script running on server 1 that is connected to socket 5 to gracefully shut down at specific times of day. As soon as the server shuts itself down, the slave sockets that are associated with master socket 5 will also be shut down. In this case, socket 1, printer, socket 3, monitor 2, and socket 8, net disk. When I bring the server back up, the sockets 1, 3, and 8 will be switched on automatically by the PDU. I can have two similar master sockets at any given time with the remaining six sockets that can be associated to either of the masters. But my favorite feature is the energy usage report. It provides granularity up to one minute. There are three types of reports, one for the day, hourly basis, and one for the month, daily basis, and the third one for one minute snapshots. The default shown is the monthly report for the whole month. 
It also shows the total energy consumed for the month here in kilowatt hours. If you choose daily, it will show hourly energy usage report. These two reports only show total energy usage of all sockets. But if you want a comprehensive socket level report, then you can use snapshot option. This snapshot will show all parameters for every one minute interval. You can also capture this info onto a separate window as comma separated data so that you can use that data with any application such as Excel to analyze it later. Note that if you leave this window open, it will capture data for each minute and at the end of capture you can save data from the window to a file by using the browser's file menu save as option. Apart from the above features, you can also configure to have other features such as SNMP, email notification, etc. through this setup menu. Here you configure network settings. The clock is where you can set current date and time and enable network timing protocol. Here is the user account setting and then SNMP interface configuration for network management applications. Then there is syslog and email features for notifications. Please visit ecola.com forward slash power for more details. That's E-C-H-O-L-A dot com forward slash power. You can buy this now online for only $269, which is much less than the cost of a basic PDU. There are also rack-mountable PDUs which support RMS current monitoring at socket level.